Hello guys and uh, welcome to the new game Hackers by Keto Networks. Um, I've decided to make this video because lots of you were asking me and asking other people in the chat how to play this game and um, even those guys and girls who uh, were helping me during uh, the game development uh, don't really know much about this game. Well, they know a lot, but uh, there are some very tiny and important details that uh, they haven't uh, yet known. So, uh, let's start. Here's the game, it's called Hackers. Just click it and <coughs> it connects us to the server. Uh, I'm using here direct TCP connection to the server, um, which provides us very fast uh, data transfer between the game and the server, so you will get things in real time as they're happening, and uh, this also saves lots of battery, and it's faster, I just like it. So to register or to log in, you just have to choose a username and a password. So once you choose the username and the password you have registered and with the same username and password you can log in again. You cannot change the password now and you cannot retrieve it if you uh, lost it. Well that's temporary, I'm gonna fix that later on. But for now I just want to focus on the important things. So let's choose a name. Um, let's call it YouTube. Password. Well, you have it guys now so can log in. <laughs> okay, um, once you log in you can see on the top left your CPU usage, your RAM usage, how much coins you have and your reputation. Your reputation, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, is um, how famous or how badass you are in the game and basically the signs who's the best, who's the worst hacker in the game. Yeah. So uh, later on we go to the first icon in here and this is your connection manager. The connection manager basically is the window that you connect to uh, the other hackers, other users, other servers, other companies and hack them. Um, it has a lot of features missing, but they will be uh, coming in the next day, so maybe when you start playing the game you will see things that I, I have not uh, explained in this video. Uh, here we have, there is your firewall log, it's now empty, but if you click it you will have a list here of all the IPs that have connected to you or through you. Uh, if someone, if it says here in the type that it's a direct, then the IP has directly connected to you. If it says if it's a bounce IP, then someone used your IP to connect to someone else. It's always good to delete those logs, and you can also save the IPs of people that are connected to you. And um, by this way, you'll be able to hack into them as well. Uh, stored IPs is a list of IPs that uh, you have previously stored. Uh, you can add IPs here or you can paste an IP when you click on this icon in here and then you when you press plus you'll get more information about IP. We have an envelope IP right now because we haven't entered any. The second icon here it's your software. The software is installed on your local machine. There is a difference between a gateway and a local machine. The software is installed on your local machine. Uh, you can see here we have small help icons. Each icon have different messages. Some of them might not have because I didn't try it yet, but I will. Uh, let's us check. Yes, this one have, and it has some information about the software. If you click here, you'll have some information about that particular software. So, uh, <coughs> the artificial intelligence software, uh, it helps you, this one, 
I don't know if you can see the mouse, but yeah, this one. <coughs> it can help you uh, speed up your software upgrades. It will help you speed up cracking password when you're hacking someone. And it will help uh, speeding up tracing someone back when they hacked you or when they are hacking you. The antivirus doesn't have really much of functionality now, but it will become really important later in the game. I have plans for it to save you from being hacked into or if someone hacked into you not to let them do whatever they want. Uh, the firewall basically helps extending the length that the password have to be uh, cracked when someone's cracking you <coughs> and also might block some people from doing nasty things to your gateway. Uh, the generic password cracker it's uh, the software that's used inside of the connection manager that we viewed before and uh, with it you can hack you can crack passwords to gain access to the remote gateways and the generic back backtracing tool it's a software that runs automatically whenever someone starts cracking your password and um, if it's traced if it's if it traces the hacker faster than he can crack your password he's blacklisted he won't be able to connect to your gateway again for some period of time and uh, his IP address is saved in your log means that you can check directly who he was before he have the chance to delete it uh, those buttons here are to upgrade the software so if I click here it starts upgrading and takes uh, some HC hack coins from my account. Uh, the software center is not ready yet, but it will have other softwares you can install or you can build your own software and upload it, but that will come later on in the game. The second, uh, the third icon is the, your gateway. It is the device that you connect to from your local machine and then you start hacking people out of this device and uh, usually hackers use it this way um, not to be caught for example they rent some offshore VPS server and then use it to connect to the rest of the world through it so if something happened uh, they are not physically in the same location where the device is <coughs> but they'll pretty much be caught anyways Okay, this is your gateway name, it's your username name, then a gateway, uh, later on you'll be able to change that because people will be seeing it. This is your IP address and you should not give it to anyone because you'll become a target and people will start hacking you, getting your money, destroying you or whatever. Uh, basically, you should keep this thing a secret. If you click here, you will copy your IP address. Maybe you want to send it to someone later on in the game for whatever reason. And this is your CPU. It speeds up a lot of things. Speeds up upgrading, speeds up uh, cracking a password, and usually whatever a CPU speeds up, it speeds up in the game as well. Uh, if I miss something, you can tell me and I'll fix it. Uh, this is a miner. It's a hack coin miner. It's something like bitcoins if you ever heard about them, or dash coins. And uh, this miner basically is a GPU unit that keeps trying random numbers, hashing, uh, to mine you some bitcoins. And in real life, you will not be able to hack that much of the coins. For example, bitcoin, you will need tremendous amounts of uh, miners to be able to mine maybe even one bitcoin. But yeah, in the game, we don't care about that. We needed uh, an way for income and we use this thingy here mining hack coins which are non-existent maybe they exist but I really don't didn't even look into it when you press collect you will collect some hack coins and they will be added to your account in here uh, the more you upgrade it the more you get and the longer it will take to uh, fill it up usually I think the maximum is 32 but still all the numbers all the timers here are under uh, study and uh, whenever I feel that, that the game have to be is ready and have to be restarted, I will uh, test a bit more 
with the timers and everything, tune everything up so everything is balanced and then um, we'll modify everything, the prices, timers and <coughs> everything. Um, usually I'd start upgrading this one, so I'm starting to upgrade uh, this miner. Uh, the hardware upgrade time is relatively low, basically you need 10 minutes to change uh, your graphic card and that's what takes the uh, data center's gateway and it's 8 minutes to change it and it will increase but not that much and the reason is uh, you might lose your gateway yes your gateway might be reset or you might buy a better gateway with your hack coins in the future it's not implemented yet but basically you might buy uh, a self-destruction hardware that whenever you hack some bank in the future uh, you just click self-destruct and your gateway is gone so <coughs> whoever traces back if they could trace back they will get your gateway and it's not there so you will not lose the game but if you get caught by the in-game FBI in the future uh, you will lose a lot of hack coins and a lot of reputation and you don't want that <coughs> So basically it's better to destruct your gateway and get another one than getting caught. But that's not implemented yet, as I said, it will be implemented in the future. This here is a chat room. Mm, there's a lot of people playing. Uh, green guys are uh, regular players. Uh, the, this bluish usernames are uh, moderators and red is uh, me. Uh, you can find me usually online in the game but I might not reply quickly because I'll be developing the game or I'm at work and uh, can't chat with you guys but yeah you'll find a lot of friendly people like Salamity she's a very friendly player very nice uh, High Life is also a cool guy Hybrid he's one of the first people who installed the game and they're all started with me help me testing the game helped uh, adding some features uh, ideas and uh, they take care of the uh, new people who go in the game and tell them how to play and what to do and basically here are chat rules and if you type slash help you'll see some comments that uh, we can you can do uh, if you type rules you'll see the rules no swearing no IPs no spamming no caps no text and if you say, for example, um, at high life is one of the administrators. Hi man, I am recording a YouTube video. It will post publicly in the chat, and uh, it will send him a notification that he can see even if he's not playing the game, and probably he will soon log in and uh, answer us. And if you want to send a private message, you just put hash, sorry, hash, and then the player name. Hi there, and it will be a private message seen only by the pay by the person you send it to. So it will show your name with three stars, means that's was sent or received as a private message, and the bold text. And that's the uh, chat room. And let's go to the fun part. The fun part is the missions. Uh, this area is the missions that belong to you and are in progress. You have to finish them or you will lose some reputation points and some hack coins depending on the mission. And here is the find missions <coughs> which have a lot of missions uh, mostly created automatically by the AI. If we have an inactive user uh, we want to get rid of him so we post a mission here <coughs> for you to hack him, get his hack coins and we'll pay you extra hack coins and extra rep reputation and once this user, because every time you hack someone uh, he loses reputation as well If you and you gain reputation by hacking him uh, so if someone reached reputation minus and he's not active for two weeks he will be deleted from the system so to take a mission uh, you click on the mission you want you see the name here, the title of the mission, uh, how much you're gonna be paid here, and here is uh, how much reputation you're gonna get if you win this mission, who posted it, and how much time do you have to finish it. So when we click on this one, we will see that if we fail the mission, 
we will lose no hack coins, and but we will lose three reputation points, which we don't want to. There's some uh, description about the mission. Uh, here's a target. It's not visible yet. It's visible only when you start the mission. How much reputation the target have, and who posted it again. So we press here, start, and we start the mission. If you go back to in progress you will see that the mission has started and that the timer is running and I have 6 hours to hack Cubic Games when I click I will see his IP address I click here now his IP address is copied I click done click on the connection manager, the first icon I paste his IP address and click on add and there we go, we have his information I click add to bounce list as target here and he's added to a target now because this is my first IP it's okay that I connect to him directly but usually you wanna add more IPs to this list here um, because the more IPs you add the less chance you have to get caught we will start with one IP we connect to him now we're connected and we have been given a new mission, don't click on this one you can just click here and see the mission, oh delete your logs so we need to delete our logs basically this is um, the new window that you get when you connect to that to cubic game as long as you've done nothing it's fine but once you click on this password cracking tool if you notice that this icon is the same as this one which is generic password cracker once you click on it, you will be start being traced. There is a timer here. If it runs down, you are blacklisted, and your IP will be on the on the Cubic Games um, <coughs> logs, and he will be ha able to hack you back, and maybe post your IP in, in missions, so other people will start hacking you. Uh, so. We click on the password cracking and we start cracking. We have 42 seconds to crack the password and we will be traced in one minute. So we will have about 15 seconds to play around inside of his gateway and see what we can do. <coughs> While we're cracking, we're gonna wait, wait. Uh, let's check another feature which is here. It's the first, second icon from below it will show the rankings of the gamers uh, top 100 only we won't show you more and you will have your rank up there okay now the password has been cracked we open this window if you press on hardware you will see the targets hardware we press on collect and we get his money yeah we got around 2000 hack coins and we are uh, finished the mission. Oh no, that's us being traced down, see? But we want to delete our log as quickly as possible. Disconnect. Yes, we deleted our IP address from his log and we collected his um, manner. So we have now 11,000 because we got the 1,000 from the mission. We got almost 2,000 from him. That's 3,000. So now we can go back, upgrade our ROM, so we can upgrade more software. Click on software, we can upgrade the backtracing tool, so we trust pe trace back people faster. And upgrade, oh, we can't upgrade more because we need more ROM. Okay, ROM is being upgraded here. Yeah. Um, collect, upgrade. Okay, let's try another target. Find missions. Mm. Kilua. Start the mission in progress. Where is Kilua? Here's Kilua. We copy his IP, go to connection, paste his IP, look for information. We got the information. You don't have to do it always because you will have it in the stored IP address. You will have a list of IPs you hacked before in here. Uh, okay, High Life has replied to us. Okay, so here's Kilua. We're connecting to Kilua through Cubic Games Gateway. And we have a new mission to delete our logs. Okay, so 
not being tracked we're tracking cracking password and being tracked and once we hack him we have to delete our logs but we have a problem because we can't log him back to our first target because he will be tracing us and um, yeah we will have our IP lingering somewhere already that was not very professional as a hacker but yeah next time it will be a lesson that's it this is still empty I'm gonna add more features day by day so keep up see you later guys bye